And this year, the data was studied based uh, uh, was studied after the conviction of Vicky Momberg uh, for saying the K word 49 times. And the commission believes that that had a serious impact on creating awareness uh, in South Africa. So they're careful to say that uh, doesn't necessarily mean that we're a racist country or, or that racism is increasing in our country, uh, but rather reporting mechanisms are, are increasing. Importantly also, um, there's a reason why Gauteng, KwaZulu-Natal and the Western Cape uh, have the highest number of complaints. And the Human Rights Commission says that's because they have difficulty reaching rural areas in different provinces where we would see uh, a high number of raci racial incidents are being uh, reported in the media but doesn't necessarily uh, reflect in the, in the commission statistics. So that'll be their focus. Lastly, though, the, the commission is saying that uh, one of the main problems that they're having is that people are often ignoring their findings. Mm -hmm. um, so the Commission believes that its findings are binding, uh, just as the public protector's findings are binding, but right now they're saying that they need to move away from their findings being ignored. I did speak to, uh, uh, or we, we heard from the senior legal officer, Alexandra Fitzgerald, at the South African Human Rights Commission, exactly on what the consequences of this is. Uh, let's have a look at what she said.